Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today is I'm going to be doing your weekly horoscope forecast for all the signs. Uh, this is going to be for the week of February 4th through the 10th, 2019. Welcome back. If this is the first time that you're uh, tuning into my channel, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon on the bottom right hand corner of this video so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish on my channel. For those of you that are interested in booking a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed here on the screen at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. I am offering 15% off of all my readings. Just use promo code CUPID. As you see on the screen, that's a capital C U P I D uh, upon checkout, and the offer is valid through February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. Uh, also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Psychic Medium Ray. Uh, without further ado, let's get into your horoscopes for this week. Aries, uh, welcome to my channel, Aries. This week for you, uh, it is going to be a week in which you are looking at your life in general. You're looking at every single angle of your life, where you're at right now, where you want to be. Um, what can you do to expand your horizons right now? Um, you're ready to kind of take on a new project or take on a new way of doing things. And it kind of is scary to you, but you have to believe in yourself. And a lot of you have that confidence right now. You are soaring you are um, sharing your your message your light um, and people are just ready to to receive it and to hear what you have to say because ultimately when you speak people listen because again you have a very powerful strong message that you are sharing with the world so right now it's like everything is falling into place for many of you for those of you that are going through a period of disruption that's going to be just temporary but for a lot of you um, you are tuning and tapping into your magical side and kind of um, this could mean that a lot of you are feeling a little bit more inclined to the world of spirituality, uh, researching things. A lot of you would be perfect time for those of you that are Wiccan or into um, doing spells like um, white witchcraft or, you know, candle magic or love spells. This are going to be the this is going to be the time of the month that you're probably going to be doing that or focusing on that. But there's a lot of magical uh, energy vibrating through the atmosphere right now and it's very strong especially with the sign of Aries um, for many of you you're going to feel very passionate this week you're going to feel very um very much in your zone concentrating on your love life many of you could be planning something special for your uh your you know your honey or your your loved one uh that you consider your you know your boyfriend girlfriend or your partner your spouse um you could be planning something romantic like a getaway but whatever it is you know it's going to be like kind of last minute and fast pace so if you haven't gotten on that get on the ball and start thinking about valentine's day uh even if it's not something that you typically would celebrate you may want to try to you know uh do something different this year if you don't celebrate it you know kind of celebrate it this year um kind of you know step out uh, outside of your comfort zone um but like i said right now you are needing to just know that you have unlimited potential in everything that you're doing uh the sky is the limit it's basically you tapping into that creative side and um and really just you know following through with with what you have been wanting to do but whatever has been holding you back uh releasing that because that no longer serves you so i want to thank you so much for tuning in uh if you did like this a video please give it a thumbs up i am offering 15 percent off of all of my psychic readings on my, in my store just use promo code cupid as you see it here on the screen it's c capital c u p i d uh, and just you enter that upon checkout and the offer is valid through february 14th uh, 2019. So if you would like to book a reading, you can go to my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Uh, also, I am holding a giveaway um, for um, my YouTube community. Uh, all of you family out there so be sure to go to my community tab and scroll down to that uh, giveaway post and comment with your favorite valentine's day memory if you haven't yet blessings and love and light have an amazing week aries 
Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you that are tuning in have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Um, also, be sure that I, uh, to know that I am holding 15% off of all my psychic readings uh, until February 14th, 2019. Just use promo code CUPID as you see it here on the screen, a capital C-U-P-I-D upon checkout. And you will get 15% off and you can go to my website. That's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. So this week for you, Taurus, it is going to be a week in which you are going to piss a lot of people off. To just I'm just putting it out there like that. Uh, basically, you have your own way of doing things. And so someone around you right now is trying to be very controlling or perhaps they're just your best friend and they think they know you very well. And they probably do, but you are stubborn out of, <laughs> out of all the signs. You're one of the most stubborn ones out there. And there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we have to follow our own advice and our own life path and not the suggestions that other people make, even if they are our besties or, you know, uh, close family rel relatives or even your partner. Um, just know that you are going to be doing it the right way, but it has to be done this time your way. So whatever you're doing, working on, if they have, you know, their own suggestion on how you do it, and of course you decline that and you continue to go forth with your way, your way is the right way. And that's what Spirit is saying. Um, a lot of you are planning on traveling this week. There could be a getaway, you know, an early celebration for Valentine's Day with your boo. Uh, <laughs> there's just going to be a lot of, of different things that you're doing. A lot of fast-paced energy back and forth. You could be very busy. So getting work done this week may be um, not impossible, but it may be a little difficult to get some work done this week. And this, again, is going to be due to the energy that is surrounding this week and what you're needing to do. Um, there has there is something that has you a little impatient for many of you Torians out there. This could be that you you know you haven't fully developed some kind of plan to either move or escape out of a relationship, or uh, it could just be that you just haven't you know um, you're not happy with your finances and you're trying to look for a, a different way to you know get ahead for your finances. But whatever it is, we're just saying to be patient. Um, things are going to be coming into you know, culmination, but just not right now. Uh, it's just a little bit longer the wait. Um, they're also asking you to have you, you know, use your creativity. Um, a lot of you have kind of, you know, cut yourself off from, you know, having goals or dreaming because it's either, you know, due to past failure or disappointment. And um, sometimes when we have had, you know, so many disappointments or we've had dreams or goals and we don't achieve them um, for whatever reason, we tend to kind of, you know, look at life at a different in a different way and say, you know, oh, man, you know, nothing is ever going to come out the way that I want it. It sucks blah 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 but spirit is saying you know for you to kind of shift that mindset and really um you know just know that you are loved and that everything is going to be okay uh and it, and to you know kind of find that spark again in yourself to dream and have those goals because you really are on the verge of something really good but you just can't see it right now and for most of us you know we usually can't see what is coming up ahead you know for ourselves so um you know, just stay positive if you need to reach out to someone to get, you know, insight or see what's coming up. Um, that is something that a lot of you may be doing this week as well. So uh, big angel hugs to all of you. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week. Gemini, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're tuning into this, um, to my channel and to this video, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. Um, for those of you that are interested in a psychic reading, a private psychic reading, you can book that on my website as you see it listed here at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. I am offering 15% off of all my readings until February 14th, 2019. Upon checkout on my, on my store, just used the promo code CUPID, and that's capital C, lowercase U-P-I-D, upon checkout, and you'll get 15% off of any readings that you book. So let's say you want to book a psychic reading and a past life reading. Uh, two of them will, both of them will receive, you know, upon the upon checkout, you'll get that 15% off of the total amount of readings that you purchase 
Uh, also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Psychic Medium Ray. So let's get into your horoscopes this week, Gemini. This week for you, it is a week in which you are needing to be more kind to yourself. Something has been happening in the background for yourself that you've been beating yourself up or thinking that you're responsible for someone's actions or the way that they treat you. And that is not the case. You're not responsible for anyone else other than yourself. And it's time that you realize that and step into your power once again, because it seems like this last couple of weeks, you've kind of been uh, stripped of your power or for, you know, for a brief, even if it was for brief moments of time, you've felt kind of, you know, emotional, some of you have felt uh, a lot of intense energy. Some of you may have felt crazy uh, because, again, this is how the energy is for Gemini, especially um, this week. So this week, just be kind to yourself. Take it easy. Um, speak you know, words of love about yourself. Be loving. Don't say, I hate how I look in the mirror. I look fat or, you know, I just don't like my hair. I'm, I wish I had a, a better weave or something. You know, just tell yourself, you know, I'm beautiful. My lips are beautiful. My eyebrows are just on fleek, you know, um, just being kind of funny here. But, you know, just kind of, you know, use words of endearment for yourself and how you see yourself. Uh, it, even if you don't believe it, you know, immediately, the more that you say it over and over, um, your body and your soul, you know, will feed off of that positive affirmation or that positive energy. And it's um, really and truly oftentimes we are the, our, our, our worst own, our own worst critics and we're the ones who kind of bash ourselves or can't see our own beauty when other people can see it around us. And so people may remind you this week how beautiful you are, how special you are, and it's something that for you to really hold on to. A lot of you Geminis out there are holding on to past life karma. A lot of karmic lessons are coming into play from your past life. And this could be why your emotions are very... Um, on high and and um, has you kind of your with your peace kind of being disturbed um, healing from all of this will give you uh, you know set you on the trajectory tra <laughs> trajectory or the path that you want to be on and how can you heal from past life trauma it's basically um, from past, uh, past life karmic lessons uh, anything that has been repetitive or that feels like you've done it before or in this lifetime, it's been repeating. Let's say you've been in a relationship and it's just, you know, um, you've had cheating on your love life over and over and it keeps repeating. We kind of have to look at the, the patterns and kind of have to analyze this a little bit. What kind of guys have cheated on you? Have they all been the same? You know, did they have some kind of addiction? Did they have a past life baggage when you met them? Like, did they have um, a baggage with another ex-partner? Did they have family with an ex-partner? Do they, did they just want to immediately go into intimacy, you know, when they first met you? These are kind of the guys that you want to avoid in order to heal that part of you. And sometimes healing means just being single for a long time by yourself and uh, recognizing that you really don't need someone to complete you, that you complete yourself. And when you are, you know, the healing, when people hear the word healing, we tend to think that it's a very... Uh, easy process and it's just so simple as you know putting a crystal on yourself and having some reiki and you know voila abaca abracadabra we're you know we're just pristine condition again and we're healed and that's not the case um healing is gruesome it is it's you, you know it's toilsome it's very very difficult and very long process sometimes it takes years to get it and and sometimes we fall and we get back up again but the the key here is to remember that you're a warrior prince or princess out there you are a warrior god or goddess um, and you need to wear that crown very very tightly and remember who you are and who you were before you know all of this damage happened to you to kind of heal from this um, spirit is also saying to be open to receiving goodness there are people around you this week that may you know your friends a partner who really is supportive and really cares about you and your mental state and your emotional state and your spiritual state and they may want to give to you but a lot of times we have problems receiving from other you know uh, people uh, put the ego aside put the pride aside and receive all your blessings that are coming to you you've earned them okay so Put that aside and just take a deep breath. I know it's easier said than done, but it's a very, very powerful message for you this week, Gemini. All right? So blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week. 
Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This is your horoscopes uh, this week for February 4th through the 10th. Um, for those of you that have not yet tuned, um, have not yet subscribed to my channel, uh, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon on the bottom right hand corner of this video as well as the notification bell icon and that way you'll be notified of any future videos that I do publish. Um, also for those of you that have been asking about private psychic readings, yes I do do them for people that are not celebrities everyday people, you can go to my website at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Right now I'm offering 15% of all, off of all my psychic readings. Uh, just use promo code CUPID as you see it here on the screen with a capital C and then lowercase UPID upon checkout. And the offer is valid through February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. So if you want to maybe gift a reading to a friend or a cousin, you can buy all the readings that you want at the very end. Just use that promo code and it will We'll take 15% off of your total uh, amount. Um, also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. So let's get into your horoscopes for this week, Cancer. This week for you, it's going to be a time where you're not going to be feeling like very motivated to be around other people. A lot of you are going to be more recluse. You're going to be staying more at home. Um, after work or if you you know you work out of your home a lot of you are going to stay at home um, a lot of you are you know just going to be finding that there's more comfort there than being out around your friends so if you get invites like for a valentine's day party or a get together many of you are probably gonna, going to decline that if you're a cancer sign some of you may go and some of you may not it's just going to depend on yourself um, a lot of you are needing to kind of go on a retreat kind of to uh, reevaluate everything that's going on in your life right now, how you feel, where you're at uh, mentally and physically, and just value evaluating every single aspect of your life right now. Um, there is some trust issues that come up this week where you may not be able to trust someone or something that someone is saying something to you and you just don't believe it. Um, again, trust, you know, what you feel but spirit is saying also to leap into the unknown meaning to go forth into areas that you perhaps wouldn't you know things that you wouldn't do step out of your comfort zone at the same time don't let fear rule you so that you don't trust other people because sometimes there's a lot of people that you may have pegged wrong wrongly and um they are just the total opposite of what you have but there is like some paranoia because of the trust issues that you are having um, and some of you are going to be stepping more into a leadership position this week uh, meaning that if you're not in a managerial or a supervisor type of role you know there could be something where you step in or you're cross trained for a certain you know kind of role that is more you know with more responsibility but whatever it is you are going to be like if you work in a team uh, you are going to be stepping up and maybe doing a lot more than the others and people may, you know, supervisors and um, higher ups may be looking at you and looking at your work ethic and how dedicated you are and that your your willingness to be, you know, step in and handle challenges is uh, is just very great uh, and is very worthy. You know, so you're very worthy of um, a promotion. If you are someone that kind of fears that kind of responsibility, because not everyone wants to be a manager or a supervisor, you know, it's a lot of a lot a lot of stuff falls on your shoulder and on your plate. Um, you know, it, but if you are struggling financially and you have been working hard and doing that that work and not getting paid for it in many ways, as a lot of people do fall into that trap, you know, of working, doing the supervisor work, but they don't get paid for it. Spirit is saying basically to take the leap if you're offered uh, a role of a higher importance or with more responsibility and more pay, take it, do it. If you need to change jobs, do it. But this is going to be a week in which you kind of, you know, may spend the first couple of days of the week kind of more at home. Uh, and then kind of branch out at the end of the week and, you know, blossom uh, out of that shell that you, you know, kind of put yourself in in the beginning. So um, have a fantastic week. Blessings and love and light. Thank you, Cancer. Leo, welcome back to my channel. This is your horoscope forecast for the week of February 4th through the 10th, 2019. Uh, if you are interested in booking a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website, which is www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Also, I'm offering 15% of off, off of all of my readings. Uh, just use promo code CUPID, C-U-P-I-D. 
PID, just as you see it here on the screen upon checkout. And the offer is valid through February 14th, 2019. So if you're wanting to gift a psychic reading to a friend uh, you know, or buy several and kind of give them away, you can just at the very end of your, you know, of your checkout process, use 15% off code and you'll take 15% off of all of your total. Um, so uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon so that way you can be notified of any videos that I do publish on my channel. Uh, that being said and done, let's get into your horoscopes for this week. So this week for you, Leo, it is about you kind of being more unrestricted, being more, um, living more of, you know, as being as a wild child, kind of being more free and not restricted and finding that freedom in your independence. A lot of you have been codependent on someone for, um, you know, this could be an ex or someone in your life right now. And you're kind of very codependent and trying to find your happy place or your happiness. And you think that they may be the solution to your happiness, but it's really saying to you that, Hey, your, your happiness is not coming from them. It's an internal job. It is something that you need to be reminded that comes from the inside. Ultimately we make ourselves happy. Uh, buying personal objects, material things is, is not going to fill that empty void. It's just like a band-aid and it's going to just patch it. So whatever you're, wherever you're feeling lonely, wherever you're feeling kind of disruption in your life, remember to uh, remember that you are worthy and remember that sometimes you need to be free from all of this. So if you haven't been planning like a getaway or um, doing things that, you know, that would be outside of your home, outside of, you know, when you start getting into a mental space where you're just thinking over and over, over the same person or subject, kind of, you know, push yourself out, go for a ride, go out to the deli and get a sandwich, go do something that kind of, you know, um, shifts that mentality and puts you around people that remind you that life is so short and yet there's so much beauty in the world for us to really accept and, um, and why waste time, you know, going over the same dead subject over and over and over. It doesn't bring any kind of good to, to your life. Um, spirit is also time is telling you to kind of, um, later in the week to balance things out. Um, indulge a little bit more in the things that make, you know, that set your soul on fire, the things that make you happy. Because a lot of you have been, um, very, you know, throwing yourself into work again, because, Again, you may be going through some depression or you may be going through something that is holding you back uh, and keeping you kind of like captured in a way uh, to a certain idea or a certain, you know, certain thoughts that are just not healthy. So if you are angry, if you are um, feeling, you know, feeling negative vibrations, uh, spirit is basically telling you to um, to release that, to to not reject all of those things that you're feeling, do not suppress them. Basically, just go through the motions, uh, feel through the, through it, but don't let it rule you. Let it go. At the end, you know, after you've you've uh, gone through it, find a healthy way of releasing it. Some of you that will be, you know, going to the gym and doing boxing uh, and punching the punching bag over and over again. Some of you, it may be, you know, going to an archery and kind of um, practicing. Some of you may be going to the track and, uh, walking or running, you know, and there's a lot of different ways that you can release this energy. So it's just going to depend on you. It may be something that's more physical that you have to do to release it, but you will release it. And it's going to feel, um, so much better when you do so. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week, Leo. Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Um, this week I am offering 15% off of all my psychic readings. Um, so if you want to gift some readings to some friends, um, you can buy them, you know, all at once and then just uh, email me and let me know uh, that you have bought them um, and you're giving them away to what person. Um, but I am offering 15% off, off of all of my readings. Just use promo code CUPID as you see it here on the screen. It's capital C and then lowercase U-P-I-D. Uh, upon checkout, the offer is valid through February 14th, 2019. Um, to book a private psychic reading, you can go to my website at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, just hit that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon. So that being said and done, let's get into your horoscopes for this week. 
So this week for you, Virgo, it is a week about you being um, aware, being very keen, very sharp in your intuitive senses, using your intuition. Um, Spirit is saying that you need to have the gift of discernment activated. And this is something that a lot of you already have, but you may just not really pay attention to things. But something is, there's a situation that you need to be very cautious about. Someone is feeding you lies. Someone is being very manipulative to you. Um, and Spirit is saying that not everything is as is as it seems not everything is uh you know appearances are deceiving so basically you're needing to um stick to your your intuition whatever you're feeling in your soul is the answer don't second guess yourself because it is what you are seeing you're also going this week through a rebirth in many ways you're wanting to reinvent yourself so many of you may be changing your hair getting a haircut um you know changing the color getting maybe a perm um a lot of you are going through you know something different you could be getting a new lace weave or a wig you know but you're changing your image in some kind of way. There's some excitement coming in. At the soul level, many of you know that something is changing in your life right now. And this could be that you're planning on, you know, for a Valentine's Day party or a weekend getaway with your, you know, your boo. Whatever it is, it's going to be something very, very positive. Uh, something very, um, that lifts your spirits in many ways. And um, Spirit is saying that you... It is time for you to kind of play. It's a time of you to kind of reconnect with your inner child. It's a time for you to, you know, uh, find the magic in your life again. Because so for so many years, many of you Virgos have been feeling kind of, you know, blah, like things are just not going well in your life. Or there's just been a lot of stagnation that has set in over the years. And so right now, Spirit is saying that basically this is your time to shine and really kind of um, enjoy the magic. Um, that is happening all around you so it's a good time to be you Virgo but that's the energy for this week I want to thank you so much for tuning in blessings and love and light have an amazing week Virgo <coughs> Libra welcome back to my channel um, if this is the first time that you're tuning in and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit the red subscribe button on the bottom right -hand corner of this video as well as the notification bell icon so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. Uh, for those of you that have been interested in booking a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website right now and you can book it. I am giving 15% off of all my readings. Uh, just use promo code CUPID as you see it here on the screen. It's capital C and then lowercase UPID. Upon checkout, the offer is valid through February 14th, 2019. And basically you'll get 15% off of your, your reading. So this is a perfect time to kind of give readings away to your brother your sister your mother you know uh, for Valentine's Day or to your you know even your partner uh, if you're wanting to this is the perfect time to do that because um, I don't usually run a lot of sales here you know on my uh, store so um, that being said and done let's get into your horoscopes for this week so this week for you uh, Libra spirit is saying for you to go with the flow um, Find easier ways to doing things. So those of you that are in a workplace that's very toxic or that is very demanding or you're not happy with it. Spirit is saying that the change is coming very soon for you. But you need to surrender to the outcome, knowing that you may not know the outcome of what's going to happen, but don't uh, resist it. You know, whatever is going to happen, know that it's for your greatest good. Some of you may be going through some tension. Some of you could be fired this week. Uh, I hate to say that, but you know, that, that happens every day with thousands of people all around the world. Some of you may be just deciding to resign this week, you know, writing, writing your res re resignation letter because you have another job lined up. Um, a lot of you could be, you know, just wanting to speak with your supervisor and letting them know that you don't feel appreciated or that you wish that you could get a raise. Um, you know, so a lot of you are going to be a lot more bolder and just going with the flow. Um, Spirit also is wanting you to enjoy things, you know, kind of pamper yourself. Uh, if you haven't gone, gotten your, you know, a haircut or you haven't, you know, gone and um, maybe gone out for drinks with, uh, you know, your friends. The Spirit is telling you at this time to go out and have some fun. You need to spice up your life again. Uh, for those of you that maybe are single and considering dating again, what is holding you back? Why are you not doing it? It's probably fear. Let go of the fear. 
um, and keep, you know, keep your faith that everything is going to come out the way that you want it to be. And it is going to happen. You just, it's a matter of you realizing that it will. So um, that's the energy for this week for, uh, for Libra. So I want to thank you once again. Have an amazing week. Blessings and love and light to all of you. Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Um, this week I am offering 15% off of all of my psychic readings. Use promo code CUPID upon checkout. The offer is valid through February 14th, 2019. So again, it's going to be capital C U P I D. Uh, and to book a private psychic reading, you can visit my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Um, for those of you that may want to be gifting, you know, a reading, this is a perfect time to buy several readings at the end of your total. It will take 10, 15% off of all the readings. Um, also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. That being said and done, let's get into your horoscopes for this week. So this week for you, Scorpio, it is going to be a week in which you are evaluating your friendships. Um, some of you have, are just tired with the people that you've had in your life. Maybe they haven't been very supportive or they've been judgmental of you. But there's this sense of you kind of being tired of dealing with draining energies. A lot of you are going to be seeking out other people or you maybe already have found some people that you consider your soul family or your soul tribe. Um, and spirit, spirit is saying for basically for yourself to kind of surround yourself with that company. We are the company that we keep. So um, if you are surrounded by loving people that, you know, elevate you and that get you on every different level, then, you know, you need to stay with that family, that soul tribe. And Spirit is also saying that ask for support. If you need help, do it. But a lot of you are so self-sufficient and just like to do things yourself because you have your own way and your own method. And sometimes it's faster for you to get things done. That can fall into the ego trap. Remember, if you are getting behind on something or you're not going to be able to meet a deadline, ask for help. Sometimes help is just there, but we just need to ask in order to receive it. And it's it's there for us. So Spirit is just wanting you to be mindful of that. Um, and kind of remember to listen to your body and rest if you're feeling tired. Don't push yourself to the edge of having a nervous breakdown or having an exhaustion because uh, being exhausted. Because a lot of you out there, especially with the sign of Scorpios, you're very hard workers. And you will not, sometimes a lot of you will work hours, long hours. After working a long shift, you'll come home and work more hours either cleaning or doing something. Because again, that is what is in your nature. Kind of like to just keep going and spirit is wanting to for you to kind of slow it down a little bit um and there and spirit is saying to kind of you know find what is your passion in right in your life right now what is what excites you what is it you know something that you want to do and if you can do it and you have the means to do it why are you not doing it you know you're suppressing a lot of your feelings and your emotions perhaps and the way that you express yourself to to people um you need to open up a little bit more let go of the mysterious side the quiet side or the reserve side because that is a self-preservation method of you know of security for yourself like a security blanket but at the same time it kind of pushes people out of your life so again um be open to people you know just be open to situations and to people that take a genuine interest in yourself um and everything will be fine so um have an amazing week scorpio blessings and love and light Sagittarius. Um, this week for you, Sagittarius, um, if you are interested in booking a private reading, uh, go ahead and go to my store. It's called uh, www.raymondguzman.net forward, sla uh, forward slash shop. Uh, be sure to use promo code CUPID upon checkout. That's capital C, lowercase U-P-I-D for 15% off, off all my all readings on my store. It is valid through February 14th, 2019. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And most of all, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon. So that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. That being said and done, let's get into your horoscopes for this week. 
So this week for you, Sagittarius, it is a week and for you needing to, to honor your divine feminine energy. Again, we all have a masculine and feminine side to our soul. Um, if you've been suppressing maybe your your divine feminine side, the one that is more nurturing, more compassionate, and more caring. And you could be uh, have been, you know, the last couple of weeks stepping more into your masculine, divine masculine side, which is more logical, more protective, more, um, you know, action more of an action type of energy um so spirit is telling you right now to kind of um know that you're beautiful kind of nurture you know yourself take care of yourself a little bit more because um a lot of you have been maybe dealing with some self hate issues or you're just not very happy with your body or how you look but again we're very we're the ones that are usually the are our, our own worst critics uh, in life and so spirit is basically telling you that it's okay to love yourself and to see your beauty as other people see it a lot of you are also um, have probably been on the fence or procrastinating on getting something done in, in any area of your life so spirit is saying to jump on you know your vehicle and get get going you need, you need that extra push if somebody uh, if you were waiting for that sign this is your sign go go forth with it Spirit is telling you that you need to kind of get ready. You have, you know, you're ready for whatever this is, whether it's you, you know, applying for a new job, um, stepping into a new role, uh, whether it's you, you know, going and deciding to be self-employed and just really jump, you know, take the leap of faith that you need. But whatever it is, even if it's a relationship and you expressing how you feel to someone, do it. This is the week to do it. And, um, be sure to ground yourself. You can use hematite crystals to ground yourself. You can ground yourself by walking barefoot on earth uh, if the weather is permittable. And for many of you, I know that you're in that polar vortex and it's maybe not possible. And um, create a sanctuary in your home. Have that sacred space that you can go to to meditate, relax, and kind of let go of all the negative energy that may be surrounding you. So um, I want to wish you blessings and love and light. This was your horoscope for this week. Have an amazing week, Sagittarius. Capricorn, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is the first time that you're tuning in, please hit the red subscribe button as well as the, um, the notification bell icon so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. Also, be sure to go to my website if you're interested in booking a private psychic reading. I am offering 15% off of all of my readings this week using promo code CUPID, that's capital C-U-P-I-D. You can use that upon checkout and the offer is valid through February 14th, 2019. So I don't offer I don't run many cells that often. If you are interested in getting a reading, this is your time now. You can also gift readings if you want to buy them in bulk and kind of gift them away to your, you know, sister, brother, mother, you know, partner, whoever, uh, friend. You can do that as well. And upon checkout, it'll take 15% off. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. So let's get into your horoscopes for this week, Capricorn. This week, um, Spirit is basically telling you that you are the healer. You are the someone that is healing other people, regardless if you, you know, you realize it or not. A lot of you are very dedicated in your work, your hard workers. Um, a lot of you could been could have been feeling kind of off emotionally in many ways, and that's because sometimes you heal other people without even having to. To touch them just really interacting with them and listening to their problems the problem with that is that being a healer you're very susceptible to that energy taking it in you and not being able to get rid of it and this can cause stagnation cause health issues it can cause your moods to be very um you know darker in nature for you to have darker thoughts so after help you know healing someone it's good to or interacting with anyone regardless if you've known them for a long time it's good to kind of sage yourself uh, maybe um, do a, some kind of salt scrub, you know, uh, scrubbing your, your aura clean like a salt bath uh, in many ways. So that kind of helps clear your energy. And there's many ways that you can do that. Those are just a few that I've, I've listed. Um, for a lot of you that have been having um, some problems with your, you know, your spiritual abilities, not sure, you know, what they are or you're not sure you know, whether you're able to do it or, you know, Spirit is saying to have faith in yourself, that you are able to achieve and do it and you have the power. The power does exist in yourself, but for some reason you've kind of, you know, uh, neglected it or you just feel like it's okay to, to release your power. Don't do that. Um, 
and spirit is preparing you for a partner so for those of you that are single right now this could be the week that you meet someone you know or you're getting on the verge of a romantic affair there's a lot of uh, love communication this week for you and not because it's the week leading up to valentine's day but because the month of you know and the year you know this is just the time is right spirit is saying the timing is right for many of you so be fearless have courage um know that fear isn't just an illusion uh that we put you know around ourselves and then we put up as a wall and to basically knock those walls down and be ready because you are ready for love you're ready for adventure you're ready ready for spontaneity so i want to thank you so much for tuning in capricorn have an amazing week blessings and love and light to all of you Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon on the bottom right hand corner of this video. And also, if you are interested in booking a private psychic reading, this week I am offering 15% off of all my readings on my store. Just use the promo code CUPID, that's capital C, lowercase u p i d, upon checkout, and the offer is valid through February 14th, 2019. Uh, also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at psychic medium ray so that being said and done let's get into your horoscopes for this week so this week for you aquarius a lot of you aquarians out there are going to experience some growth a lot of you are seeking out a mentor or a guide or you may be reconnecting with a good friend an old friend that is someone that was like this you know to you or someone that is a healer in many ways a lot of you are needing some direction uh, a lot of you are also having reasons to celebrate there's a lot of reasons to celebrate this week uh coming up a lot of you could be you know celebrating uh a birthday um or you could have something else that is coming up that is very very exciting um but you are going through cycles right now um, and there is, you know, everybody goes through cycles. Everybody knows when something is right. But whatever you're holding on to that is uh, causing fear or causing you to doubt yourself, Spirit, Spirit is saying to release that because it no longer serves you at all. Uh, this is a time to realize that the world is behind you. There's a lot of people that are good people in your life that support you unconditionally and that love you unconditionally and that know that, you know, you know your true spirit in your heart and where you are. Um, you know, if you've ever doubted yourself, this is a time to let go of that doubt. Um, it's not not serving you. So stay positive. Um, you know, have fun most of all this week. Try to balance your workout with your personal life and, um, you know, do something for yourself once once and for all, especially if you've been holding back on that. So um, blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week. Pisces, uh, this is the first time that you're tuning into my channel. Please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish on this channel. Also, if you are looking to book a private psychic reading right now, you can take 15% off of all my readings. Just use promo code CUPID, and that's capital C, lowercase U-P-I-D upon checkout the offer is valid through february 14 2019 also don't forget to follow me on facebook and instagram at psychic medium ray so that being said and done uh, this week for you pisces it is going to be a weekend with where you're going to be kind of working with your team in your work space so those of you that work with other employees uh, co-workers that you have you're going to be partnering up with them to get things done um, and you're kind of ready to build upon, you know, what you've learned. Maybe some of you are really interested in opening up your own company or doing something that is going to be very ambitious, but you don't have the financial means to do so right now. You need to stay strong and stay very focused and know that any challenges that you're going through right now, whether it's your relationship or it's any other aspect in your life that you're going to be, it's going to make you stronger and you're going to get through, um, through this whole ordeal and see things from a, a bigger perspective um, once it's said and done but a lot of times in the midst of when things are happening to us we really can't see it spirit is also sh uh, saying that you need to show more compassion to other people to things a lot of times we say things or we do things that come across as very judgmental we may not even realize that we're doing that but it is 
you know, it, we do say things from time to time or judge people, but based on their looks and how they dress. And that is a very superficial type of way of being. And it's not good for your spiritual growth or for your spiritual abilities to flourish and blo and blossom. So spirit is saying to release that um, kind of, you know, mindset. These are unhealthy, you know, patterns uh, that need to be released. If you catch yourself doing that, you know, immediately stop it. And um, that's the way to growth, to spiritual growth eventually, and coming out on the other side from all of this negativity. When we tend to do that, we tend to open up doors up to negative things, and it kind of blocks our blessings and makes it uh, harder to get where we need to be. So um, wishing you all the best. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week. Thank you so much for tuning in.